Hey guys, I'm back again uh, right after recording that start deck opening. Bushy Road also kindly sent me a uh, Genesis of the Five Greats or BTO1 booster box. Uh, again, we're kind of super late with this stuff. Uh, apologies, but uh, we didn't really have our streaming set up together and there was all kinds of crazy delays that were going on in the port of Los Angeles. So we're a little bit late to the train on the Vanguard Overdress content, but that's okay. Bushy Road sent me this stuff to open up for you guys and I'm super grateful to them. So huge shouts out to them. Um, big fan of doing video collaborations uh, and I hope to get more stuff from them in the future so that we can keep doing stuff like this. Um, we are gonna definitely be opening uh, pretty much every set from here on out. Uh, I've got another video, uh, the Festival Collection 2021 just have to do a little bit of editing and didn't turn out like amazing um but uh this one uh will turn out a lot better and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it guys uh so for those of you who aren't familiar with car 5 vanguard uh the game rebooted recently into uh a new era um called overdress and they condensed their 24 clan system, uh, which was how they used to have everything set up, and they would do like multiple boosters, um, really some all the time. Now they're on a quarterly schedule because they only have to support five nations, all the clans combined. And uh, they changed some of the mechanics, got rid of imaginary gifts, which were uh, questionable at the end, uh, and introduced some other things that really, really kind of like helped fix up the game uh, and. The game has been super fun so far. Been playing a lot of DBT01. Uh, can't wait for DBT02 and DBT03 to come out. Um, and I'm super, super stoked for the future of the game. Uh, they did a really good job and they've been killing it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Again, it's DBT01, Genesis of the Five Greats. Um, we're just gonna be opening this up, show off some of the cards that they included. Uh, no need for this anymore. So, uh, upon opening your booster box, you will receive a promo over trigger. Uh, has the same effect as the start deck over trigger, which, when it's checked, uh, you're going to give uh, an additional effect of 100 million power to one of your other units, other or other than what you uh, applied this one to. So, uh, 100 million power is pretty freaking strong. Um, questionable but everybody's living with it it's the worst part of overdress but it is significantly outweighed by the fact that there's so many good parts of overdress and then we have our ride deck sleeves um, another new mechanic to overdress is the fact that you can take a zero one two and three great uh, and create a ride deck that is separate from your main deck where you can ride consistently every single turn for the cost of a discard fixes a whole lot of issues with the game uh, in and of itself. And Bushy Road were kind enough to include these beautiful, beautiful ride deck sleeves in, I believe, seven variants uh, in the first booster set. Um, and all of them are super, super cool, but it looks like we got our mysterious range spiritualist Zorga ride deck sleeves. Uh, and I opened a case of this stuff whenever we got it in so that I could sell singles in store. Um, and from what I remember, each box was like, when I open up the box and there's like ride deck sleeves, I would get something, you know, from that nation or that, that like ride deck, um, whether it be like the main boss unit or if it were one of the start deck bosses or whatever, uh, then I'd get like some support card. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into it and start cracking these packs. Um, there are 120 different cards in this set. 40 of them can come in SP, which is like a super high rarity. Um, and uh, we're going to see what we can get out of these cards today. Uh, so we have an additional crit trigger for Keller Sanctuary. Uh, each nation got one of these so that you can run eight crits uh, post set one, um, aside from the star decks, uh, which is most of what everybody is going to do because crits let's face it you just can't beat two damage uh we got our dark poker mid she's grade one ak power auto on rear when this unit boosts this unit gets plus 2k until end of turn just okay nobody runs them we have our shadow shadow army token um 
It is a part of the Cardinal Deuce Orphist ride line. Uh, pretty decent. Um, he's like a Link Jokery kind of looking dude uh, and creates these big 15k tokens that are, you know, grade one and uh, scary. Part of Brankgate Nation, by the way. Uh, our Mission Sword, Fanuel. Our Dream Nibbling, which is the starter for the Zorga ride line. Um, a Big Snake Witch Solario, which is our rare. For those of you unfamiliar with Cardfight Vanguard cards, this is uh, what the rare foiling looks like. It's kind of glossy on the front. It has just a tiny bit of foiling to it. Um, and then we have our Painkiller Angel, uh, double rare, grade one for Keter Sanctuary, decent card. Um, pack two. Now they have stated that they are including um, one SP with each of these boxes. And at the beginning I was like, wow, how are SPs gonna like retain their value? Cause that's like a special rarity. And um, basically the way they did it is 120 cards come in this set, 40 of them got the SP treatment. Um, one per box doesn't really say a lot when there's 40 different ones that you can pull. Uh, with the DSR rarity being a thing as well of the Dragon Empire boss uh, Nirvana and the Dragon Empire Trickstar, um, which are your big chase cards. And then we have our Divine Sister Lepisto for the Hexa Orb Sorceress ride line. Uh, downswing of Sword of Judgment for Keter Sanctuary. Lots of Bastion players. Another crit. Ranker Chain, the grade one in the Zorda ride line. Uh, Tier Square Sorceress. Again, Hexa Orb. Divine Sister uh, Fashada. Um, Fashida. Fashiata. I don't know how to say that. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Uh, and uh, this is a great one with AK power on rear once per turn when your drive check reveals a trigger unit soul blast two and counter charge one. Decent little counter charger. Um, and then we have Seven Horn Beast Gyunosla, which is our first triple R for Stoikea. This dude's super good, makes your Sylvan Beast King deck um, super, super solid. Um, so back row rear uh, when he attacks the last one choose one of your other rear guards and he gets that this unit's power until end of turn so that can only be procced in the back row um let's see i'm gonna make this easy on myself and sleeve some of these up because i know that we're gonna be putting them out for sale um so i'll sleeve up the good stuff uh Moving on, pack three. <coughs> we have our Lightning Thief Monster Jab Tail for Branky. Deep Soniker uh, for Dark States, which is part of the really useful good card in uh, Barrel Magnus. A Dream Nibbling again, an LRG Pixie, which is uh, an alternate art to the Stoy Kid Heal Trigger. Lots of people like that in Zorga because it's spooky. Um, the Drag Rider Al Waith uh, for Dragon Empire. Um, it is part of the, well, it's not in the ride line, but it is um, part of the Eugene deck. Uh, and then we have our Grief, Despair, and Rejection, which is grade three order for Stoikea in the Mysterious Rain Spiritualist Zorga ride line. Uh, our first little support card uh, for Zorga. Um, I'm still betting that we're going to pull one because of those ride deck sleeves, so we'll see how it goes. Then we have our Howling Moonlit Knight, which is uh, a set order card similar to our prison card uh, in the uh, start deck five. Uh, but this is used for Orphist. Um, it says play this with Soul Blast 1. It has an auto ability when this card is put into your order zone, draw a card. And then a continuous in the order zone. If your order zone only has world cards, the following effects are active according to the number of cards in your order zone. One card, your world becomes Dark Knight. Two more cards, your world becomes Abyssal Dark Knight. So when you play this, it can't go away until they come out with uh, Order Zone like removal cards. I hope they don't do that. That would be kind of crazy. Um, but uh, that is for the Cardinal Deuce Orphis line again. Okay, I may have spoiled something for myself. Um, we have our front trigger for... Cutter Sanctuary, additional front, uh, just in case you want to run fronts. Not a lot of people do. They're pretty decent, but not good until set two when they get 5k shield. 
Um, then we have our Selvish Engraver, Graver, uh, the Grade 2. Um, when the CD unit's attack hits, Soul Charge 1. Uh, and then Auto and Rear at the end of the battle, that this unit attacked with your soul has 10 or more cards, put this unit into your soul and counter charge 1. It's a really good guaranteed card, uh, guaranteed counter charger for Barrow Magnus. That deck revolves around having a lot of cards in soul. Um, and you're pretty much guaranteed to get that counter charge every single time. So that's pretty cool. We have our Uncanny Burning uh, alternate starter for Dark Stage. Uh, our Parasolus uh, alternate heal for Dragon Empire. Spiritual Body Condensation, uh, another really good support card for Zorga. Um, run it four uh, in most cases from what I've seen. Um, to play this with Soul Blast 1, choose a card with grade, uh, with grade equal to or less than your Vanguard from your drop, call it to rear, and it gets plus 5k until end of turn. Usually, Spirit Calls ignore grade restrictions, um, but this one really isn't at fault for uh, not ignoring a grade restriction, uh, as it's quite good, because um, if you were to like mill some higher grade cards uh, and start use this, start rushing your opponent pretty early on, Again, it's built for the Zorga Ride line. I've seen some Magnolia players run it in their decks, though, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh, didn't mean to spoil anything, but we have our cold, Polar Cold Monster Drumler. He's a uh, great two for Brain Gate. A um, little bit of card draw. Not fantastic. Won't survive post set one, but um, there we go. And we have our SP, which is the Planner Prevent Dragon. Um, Beautiful, beautiful SP treatment. Um, Bushy did a really good job with these. Uh, they have done a really good job in the past with SPs, but man, like just the the different textures on like some of this stuff that's going on up here is just super, super nuts. Looking super, super cool. Uh, and this is a good SP to pull for sure. Um, could have done better, but that's a good one. So thank you, Bushy Road, for sending that over to me. Uh, big fan of Stoikea, the Zorga Ride line, and uh, that's pretty cool. So moving on, uh, we got our Divine Sister Pastelios. Uh, it's for Hex Orb, another downswing, heal trigger for Dark States, alternate art. Uh, Dragon Empire dude for um, Eugene again. Uh, Steam artist Pathana useless. Gunamaro and then our hyperspeed Robo Cheval Stud. It's grade two, or grade one double R uh, for Brant Gate. Uh, specifically the prison archetype. He has an act ability once per turn. Counter blast one, soul blast one. Choose one of your opponents rear guards and prison in your prison. Then if three or more uh, of your opponent's cards are in prison in your prison. You draw a card. He's decent, but he won't survive the list post set one. Uh, I know I'm already going to cut him uh, and what I'm going to cut him with. Uh, again, decent little card. Still going to sleeve him up because he'll go in our in our display case, even though he's not really super valuable. Still going there. Um, moving on, we'll get into another pack. <clears throat> And I'm really only kind of like stopping and reading card effects of cards that are super useful. So that way you guys know what to look out for whenever you're opening booster boxes of Genesis of the Five Grades that you buy at cardinalgaming.com. Uh, we might be sold out right now, but hopefully we'll get more in the future. And this set is already established to be relevant for a very long time, at least some of the cards in it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, alternate front for Grant Gate. Alternate front for Stoikea. Our grapple external is grade two with 10k power for Frank eight, uh, continuous on rear during the battle that this unit attacks. If an opponent's card is imprisoned in your prison, he gets plus 5k power. 15k beater for free pretty much because you will pretty much always have at least one card in your prison. Probably no more than one, probably no more than two because <laughs> they're gonna try to deny you that uh, triple drive. But it's decent, it gets rotated out. Um, Set 2 has a grade 2 that just absolutely annihilates this card in usefulness, so it's cool. Uh, and then one of our best grade 3s, uh, probably one of the best commons, or the best common in the set, uh, maybe the second best, uh, is the grade 3 13k actual analyst Cockabiel for Keter Sanctuary. She has a continuous on Guardian Circle ability. If your Vanguard is Apex Ruler Bastion in this unit, this unit gets plus 5k for every two of your grade 3 units, including this unit. So when you call something a guardian circle, um, you call this to guardian circle, 
and you have uh, only five right three units, uh, you'll have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, uh, then she will be a 15k shield. Uh, super, super important because your Bastion deck runs a lot of grade threes, thus reduce shield value, thus you need to run her. Uh, she's definite four of in the Bastion deck. We have our alternate art draw for Dragon Empire, our Pentagleam Sorceress, which is uh, for the Hex Orb Ride line again. And then we have a hollow. Um, I know I've already seen one, but I'll go ahead and explain. We don't have hollows in Vanguard, or you didn't used to have hollows. Now we do. Um, they introduced that 50 of the cards would come in hollow, uh, as well as 40 cards in SP. So a little bit of high rarity chase there. Uh, definitely helps the value of the boxes for sure. Um, super happy to see that they're doing stuff like that. Um, and I'm glad that they, you know, are expanding the different rarities that people can chase after because it just promotes a super healthy uh, secondary market for the game. Um, we have our alternate front for Dragon Empire, another Shadow Army token, our alternate heal for Keter, our Burn Bite Bright Pure Prayers. Uh, some people run this, so it's a grade two order, blitz order. Uh, if your damage zone has three or more cards, choose one of your units and gets plus 15k until end of that battle. So it's basically a 15k shield, um, which is pretty decent. Our Cardinal Fang Phobi, he's the starter from the Cardinal Deuce Orphus red line. Our Twin Buckler Dragon. Um, this is a really, really good card, and all of the perfect cards from set one have the same ability. Uh, it's still got the clause that you can only have four sentinels in your deck, but uh, auto when this unit is put on guardian circle, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until the end of that battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So uh, if this and another card, uh, let's say even another perfect card are in your hand and um, that's all you have, you can just call this and you don't have to pay for its cost so you can hold on to a little bit of your shield it's pretty good then we have our first over trigger uh, that is not the trial deck it's a star dragon deity of infinitude elder breath uh, it's the brant gate over trigger he has fifty thousand shield it gives a hundred million power uh, you can only run one of these in your deck and he has the additional effect double the power and critical of all your four units until end of turn you give this to something and then it doubles to 200 million and all the criticals double of your front row units. So eventually if we get something uh, that restands and brand it, because right now there is not, uh, this might turn into a little bit of a problem, but uh, as, as for right now, it's definitely a good one to run. I see a lot of people running the trial deck variant and the brand gate decks uh, over that though, just not exactly sure why uh, 200 million power is good but lots of power and extra damages on all your attacks is better in my opinion it's pretty solid um alternate crit for stoikea has that zorga ride line going stuff on or stuff going on uh and then we have our grade one for keter uh dark states dark states dragon empire our recusal hate dragon the boy, uh, I recuse your hate. Um, obviously, good, perfect guard for dark states. Uh, and then we have our grade two spring maiden, Elenia. Uh, I thought this was decent in Zorga, but it's not. It, after testing, it's just kind of whatever. Um, but it's decent in uh, the Sylvan Beast King because you get to revive something from your drop zone um, and it gets plus 5k until in a turn. So not bad at all. Definitely run that in some capacity, at least for now. We have our Cardinal Noid Rudis. He's the grade one from the um, Cardinal Deuce Orphus Red Line. Sorry, I'm trying to get through these a little bit quick, make it not super, super long. White Crow Sorcerer Taxis, which is our alternate front again. Hopeful Testo, some people do run this. If you have three or more units, choose one of your units and get plus 15k until the end of that battle. Again, with the, um, again, with the, uh, the, the 15k shield orders, basically. So, uh, Brankgate, Draw Trigger, Dark Strain Dragon. This is a good rare. 
uh, grade 3, 13k power, act on rear guard if you have 3 or more grade 3 units, which you will in the Bastion deck. Um, Soul Blast 2, and all of your grade 3 units get boost until end of turn. And we have our Planner Prevent Dragon in Normal, Rare, uh, and our Dark Strain Dragon in Hollow. That's a pretty good pack, if you ask me. If you pick it up for 4 bucks, you're definitely plusing. And for any Car 5 Vanguard singles that you guys need, uh, any Overdress singles, be sure to keep an eye out on our website. Um, I do open all the latest sets. Uh, we do have singles, commons and rares, pretty much everything from set one. Uh, and then of course we have our star decks. So you can pick those up there, buy a couple upgrades. We'll see how it goes. Pretty cool. Um, we have our grade one Conspiring Mutant Admantis. This dude's really good in Zorro right now. Um, and some people run him in uh, the Sylvan Beast King deck as well. But he is a grade one with AK power, auto, when this unit is placed on rear, choose one of your other rear guards and he gets plus 5k until end of turn. This dude's good in Zorga because you can kind of like abuse him, rewrite him, or like recall him uh, by reviving him with Zorga because that deck revolves around uh, graveyard recursion. And um, you just keep getting that plus 5k and that plus 5k can matter sometimes because it's the difference between uh, a one and a two card guard uh, in some situations. Uh, Astute, Noble, Astute Noble Edgo. Uh, nothing special here. We have our Sealed Path. It's a grade 2 order card uh, for Zorga. Play this with Counter Blast 2. Choose one of your opponent's vanguard, and that unit gets minus 1 critical until the end of that battle. This is interesting. Counter Blast 2 is a little bit too much uh, for both of these Stoikea decks right now, um, but it's interesting that uh, this Blitz order, which you can play on your opponent's turn, by the way, for those of you who aren't familiar uh, with Vanguard yet, um, it's interesting that they're willing to take away the damage that your opponent's Vanguard is going to do. So if you know their Vanguard is attacking and it has a base critical of one, which means that it will do one damage, you play this, take away that base critical of one, they have to hit a critical trigger in order to deal a damage to you. Uh, no matter the power of their units. So that's pretty cool. We have our Uncanny Burning again. Burn Bite, Pure Prayers. Uh, we already went over that. Um, Protobulb Dragon for Dark States. Uh, it's grade one, rare, uh, 8k power. Auto on rear when this unit attacks or boosts. If you are in Final Rush, Counter Blast one, put another rear guard into your soul. Choose a card from your soul and put it into your hand. Super, super good card. Um, probably gonna be run for a long time in Bruce and uh, it's it's a super key card because you're gonna be you know able to recycle stuff that you don't need put it into your deck let's say you have a draw trigger in your hand uh, you can call that down put it into your soul grab something out of your soul that's super important like a personal red copy or uh, a Marjorie which is this card um, or a perfect guard or whatever you need it's it's just it, allows for lots of uh, situational, um, what's the look up word I'm looking for? You can make good situational decisions uh, with this and definitely increases the ceiling of how the Bruce deck is played. Um, super good card, set that aside. Then we have our grade three upper deck Rat Marjorie. Uh, it's a double R with 13K power. Um, this is also a super important card for uh, Bruce, so this is just a very much Bruce pack. Um, she has an auto ability on rear once per turn when this unit attacks. If you're in Final Rush, put one of your other rear guards into your soul, draw a card, soul charge one, and this unit gets plus 10k until end of turn. Uh, super, super important double R for uh, Bruce. We're going to be using her for a long time, uh, I think, uh, especially with uh, the set 2 support. She becomes a little bit more abusable, uh, in my opinion. Um, so, big fan of that. Moving on. All right. We have our grade two Ghost Chase, which is a blitz order for Stoikea. Uh, probably the best common in the set. You can choose one of your units and get plus 5k until the end of that battle. Choose one of your rear guards not being attacked and return it to your hand. So, uh, it's 5k guard and then you get to bring something back to your hand. So in Zorga, it's really useful because sometimes you'll accidentally call your over trigger or mill it uh, or a perfect guard and you can call that to rear 
uh, and use this to get it back to your hand. So super useful. Alternate crit for Dragon Empire. Stoikea dude. Dragon Empire. Dark States. Draw trigger. Uh, grade two. Uh, Eugene man. And then uh, or Cardinal Deuce Orphis, which is a grade three um, for Brant Gate. He is the alternate to the right line. I've mentioned him quite a few times in this video. But he is a continuous on Vanguard and Rearguard Circle during your turn. If your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, he gets plus 5k. And then an act on Vanguard. Uh, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, Counterblast 2. Call up to three Shadow Army tokens to rear. Uh, and of course, we already went over the Shadow Army tokens. But they're 15k beaters. Um, you know, that's a guaranteed 30k column and another 15k attacker, which is really, really good. And they're grade ones, they have boost. Super solid. Um, that deck gets immensely better post set two, and it's already decent in set one. Um, but not really my play style because not super huge on like vanilla tokens. Um, but we'll go ahead and get these out of here, keep it moving. Sunlight Punishment, it's a great three order for Dragon Empire. Uh, you can play it with a counter blast, one or more cards. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards for each counter blast paid for this cost and retire it. Um, it's board wipe if you want it to be, uh, and you have the counter blast to pay for that kind of thing, uh, which Dragon Empire sadly does not uh, at the moment, but nonetheless, this card could be useful in the future. Uh, boo, boo, boo or Violate Dragon PG, um, obviously a good card, or Sylvan Horn Beast Agleo. Uh, you can retire him, uh, choose two variants, and they get plus 5k until end of turn. He's just kind of okay, not a lot of people run him. And then we have a Hollow Dream Nibbling for these Ogre Ride line. Moving on, we have four packs left, including this one. <clears throat> Hopefully we get something uh, something else good. I'm pretty sure I already spoiled it for myself, but here we go. Um, Tearful Malice, not really good. Uh, our beautiful alternate art for Brant Gate. Uh, this heal trigger is just gorgeous. Uh, our Penetrate Dragon, Trabash. And then uh, Hexel Orb Sorceress, which is our... Uh, again, another triple R. It's uh, the alternate ride line for Ketter Sanctuary. Um, she revolves a lot around uh, stacking the deck, scrying a lot, taking a look at the top cards of your deck, and uh, and just kind of stacking it to, uh, to have the odds in your favor. So when you uh, need to check some triggers, you can check some triggers. Third to the last pack here. Um, this grade one uh, Extremist Dragon Veloc the lock a hazard um it's an 8k auto on rear when this unit boosts it's plus 2k until end of turn it's a free 10k booster can't complain about that it's pretty decent in the post set one dragon empire list divine sister lapisto i believe we've seen her already but she's a re-standard for hex orb um alternate front for dark states frankie uh a, a dude our Aegis Mare Dragon, and then our Tensha Stead. Um, Aegis Mare is the perfect guard for Kenner Sanctuary, and our Tensha Stead uh, is a grade one with AK power for Dragon Empire auto on rear when the unit this unit or when the attack this unit boosts and hits. Counter Blast one, retire this unit. Choose one of your vanguards. Search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as that card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Pretty good for fetching out Persona Ride copies in Dragon Empire, I'd say. Um, a lot of people do run that in some capacity. I'm not sure if it survives uh, post set two just yet, but it is what it is. Um, Frank A, Deep Soniker, alternate draw trigger for Stoikea, it's beautiful. Darful Doll, Simone, our Cardinal Noid, Cubicia, he's the grade two from the Orphist ride line. And then, oh no! I think this is our final triple R, and it's uh, Heavy Artillery of Dust Storm Eugene. He is definitely the worst uh, grade three triple R in the set. Um, worst deck, I don't even want to talk about him. Uh, he's just kind of whatever. You can build him for like $5 if you wanted to. And then we'll go into our final pack here. Um, 
<clears throat> I have a feeling that it's not going to be spectacular. I think we've hit all of our hits. But uh, we have uh, Causality goes crazy as I will it, which is a super crazy card name for Frank Gate. Doesn't really get played. Our Barb is a critical trigger. Again with that, uh, Lightning Barrier Emergency Deployment. This is a grade one Blitz Order for Brand Gate. Uh, it's pretty decent. You can play it with Counter Blast 2, choose one of your Vanguards, and it gets plus 30,000 power until end of that battle. That's basically a huge 30k shield, and Brand Gate has the best counter charger in the game at the moment, so um, can't be mad about it costing Counter Blast 2. And we have our Phantasma Magician Curtis um, from Dark States. He's pretty useful in the Barrel Magnus deck. Uh, a lot of people run him in two or three, some, some run him at four. Uh, he's really there just for uh, your double soul charge. And then our final card we have a Hollow Vital Lever draw trigger for Dark States. Not a crazy good box, but not a bad box at all. Um, however, I'm eternally grateful uh, to Bushy Red for lending that out to me and uh, showing you guys what Car Fight Vanguard is all about. I think their whole plan with these video collaborations is to just bring Overdress uh, and Vanguard in general to a wider audience. Again, if you guys want to order any of these singles or any other Carfe Vanguard uh, Overdress singles off of our website, we even still have some of the old V-Series stuff uh, and V-Series boxes and everything like that, you can just go to cardinalgaming.com. Uh, it'll be in the Vanguard Sealed and Vanguard Singles section of our TCG drop-down menu. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm super stoked to be back on the channel and doing a lot more Carfe Vanguard content. Again, be looking forward to the video where Mason and I learn how to play Card Fight Vanguard Overdress. I already know how to play, but I'm going to be teaching him. So uh, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, keep an eye out for more content on our channel. And thank you guys again for tuning in. Peace.